Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're going to be having a little bit of fun in the grape vineyard here. So this is my neighbor's grape vineyard. We've worked out a deal where I get the grapes if I trim the grapes. So it's a pretty cool deal we've got set up here. So today we're going to take all this mess, which we cut back last year. There'll be a link to that video at the end of this video. But we're going to take all this growth that came out last year and we're going to cut it back. And these are muscadine grapes. We're going to show you exactly how I trim the the grapes back to get optimal fruit production this year in the vineyard. All right, woo! Stony Ridge, from Stony Ridge, Stony Ridge Farm. All right, folks, if this is your first time to the Stony Ridge Farm channel, welcome to the YouTube channel. Please pound that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. We do everything rural lifestyle here on the Stony Ridge, and we do some Made in America stuff, some factory tours, some real fun stuff with tractors, and just all kinds of rural lifestyle stuff. So what we're going to be doing here today is taking back this huge amount of growth that occurred last year. And what we did is we took these lateral vines, the main vines, and we cut them all the way back, and we basically left what you call a cordon which is about a thumb sized sprig that shoots out and basically all of the sprouts come from there so what we're going to do today is we're going to take it back to where we have basically a cordon or a, i call it a sprig that's just what i call it around here so we're going to take it back to the cordon we're going to leave either one or two or three sprouts on there with two buds each and that's how we're going to take these back this is an overwhelming task when you look at it like from afar but as you get in here and you start working you're just ripping through this and getting rid of all this extra vine that you have right here if you leave this next year it's going to be three times as much and you're not going to have a very good crop this coming year so the fruit comes from these vines on the new growth and what we want to do is prune back to where we get a manageable amount of new growth instead of letting it go crazy and having just an absolute mess and a poor crop and little bitty berries about that big we want great big fat muscadine grapes so let's get busy let's get started all right, before we get started, let's talk a little bit about the goal here. So the goal is to produce larger berries. The goal here is to produce a manageable amount of fruit. The goal is to produce a plant that pushes energy into making fruit, not into making leaves. So what we're doing here is taking off all this material that will not produce fruit this year. The only part that will produce fruit is out beyond the end of the stem. So what we're going to do is stimulate growth with winter pruning. Now, when you're pruning fruit trees, the same thing. If you cut back your trees in the wintertime, you're cutting back for growth. If you're cutting back your trees in the summertime, then you're cutting back to shrink the size of the tree. Now, we're going to take these way back. I'm going to give you a little bit of a time lapse, and then I'll pull you in on some of these cordons so that you can see exactly what to do with your grapes or so that you can learn if you just want the knowledge. <laughs> Okay, so we've gone from unmanageable disaster, and again, this is one year's growth, to manageable disaster. So you can see I've taken out all the sprigs and they're all laying on the ground right here, and that's all last year's growth. We're gonna get you some close-ups and show you exactly what we're gonna do here to trim off each one of these to get optimum fruit production. Welcome to the jungle in here, man. There is just tons of stuff. I've got a piece of paper in my hand right here. We've got everything drawn out for you so that you'll understand. Now you can see this jumbled mess right here. When we get done, it will not be a jumbled mess, but nature has a way of growing that's better than what we do. So in other words, it's not gonna be absolutely uniform all the way through here. And we're not in Napa Valley, we're in North Carolina. So this is a muscadine vine. Let me show you a little diagram here. So right here is the trunk it's down here below us that is your trunk these are little spurs that come off of the trunk or suckers and we want to cut those off okay the trunk splits into two cordons and you'll see that here in just a second you've probably already seen it and the cordons have little spurs that stick up so those are your fruiting spurs that's what we have right here a mess a jumbled mess of fruiting spurs and that's what we're going to fix so we're going to take our fruiting spurs right here and we'll flip over and then we have our spurs with buds so we're going to take our fruiting spurs and we're going to cut them back to where they have about two buds a piece and that will allow for optimum fruit production on this vine 
pretty cool. I hope you guys are learning something here. It's pretty fun to do this. I enjoy getting outside. So here we are. This looks like a little bit of a disaster, but it won't be in just a second. So we talked about our fruiting spurs. Fruiting spurs. This is a fruiting spur. This is a bud and this is a bud. There are two buds right here. So we're going to cut this guy right there. Now you can see there are spurs that are sticking up. This is old. This is last year's or two years ago's growth okay and you can tell because the bark looks a little bit darker brown where this is a little bit lighter brown we cut these way back last year way way back so all we have is pretty much new growth to cut back so we're going to leave a bud here and a bud here and we're also going to leave buds right here so let me get my shears and again we're shooting for a spur with a couple buds on it so right here is a bud right here is a bud and we're gonna go right beyond that bud and snip it off. Just that simple. You see this? This is a mess, it's in the way. We'll get rid of that. Now you can see two buds here. We've got a spot that's not gonna have any growth. It's old dead wood, we're gonna get rid of that. We've got two buds here, one bud here and one bud here. So we're gonna go just beyond that and get rid of that one, okay? Now you can see these guys growing out. If they're on the bottom side, then they are not desirable. But you can see these are not all the way on the bottom, so they will produce fruit. We're gonna leave them for this year. We're gonna leave two buds. Again, one bud here, one bud here. We've got it here again. We're gonna leave two buds. One bud here, one bud here. We're gonna go back out, do it again. One bud here, one bud here. Now you can see there's a vine kind of wrapped around all the way up here. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna pull that guy out and uh, right there it is. So that limb, bye bye, bye bye to that limb. And that one is coming out right here. So we're gonna cut back to two buds there. So we're gonna go all the way down. This is just a like a foot and a half section that we're working with right here, but we're gonna go all the way down the entire grapevine right here and we're gonna cut them back just like that. So it's all nice and neat and compact, okay? What's gonna happen here is those buds will produce limbs again, lateral limbs. Those lateral limbs will be the fruiting limbs and they'll also produce leaves so that they can soak up some of the sunshine, take photosynthesis and make fruit. So they take sugar from the ground and from the air and they make fruit. So that's what we're doing. You can see I've got my work cut out for me, but that's how it works. When we get done here, we'll go to a vine that I haven't touched and we'll go to a vine that I have touched and we'll kind of give you guys an idea of what it looks like when we're completely done. We haven't touched this one yet. But we're going to go ahead and work down this vine. This one vine is probably a hundred and 10 feet, something like that. There are three plants right here, three trunks coming up to six cordons and all these little stubs that are coming up right here, these spurs that are gonna be our fruiting spurs. Now, let's look at problem areas like this huge mess right here. So it seems overwhelming when you first get in here. Let's get that guy out of the way. <laughs> it seems overwhelming when you first get in here, but it's not. Once you start trimming, once you start working, it's very therapeutic and it's just a great time. So we'll just get back in here again, leave two buds on these and we'll cut them off. So see this guy, he's coming out. This is gonna be a growth spur. One, two buds, we're cutting him back. This one's in the way. Now, there's a little bit of a rule, and I've learned this by reading up and studying. You want about the width of your hand between buds, between spurs or fruiting spurs. So you wanna make sure that they're not too compact. They're not too close together on this main cordon, okay? So about the width of your hand is about where you need to judge this from. This year, we'll get sprouts all over the place on this thing. So you gotta judge it and you gotta cut it back year after year after year in the winter time. Let's get to snipping. Okay, now if you got stuff that's too close together, we've got one on the very bottom right here, I'll show you. Let's angle that camera down a little bit. So we've got one coming out of the bottom. We don't want it coming out of the bottom. We wanna get rid of that one. So we'll take him and snip him off, completely get rid of that guy. Now we've got a little crowded area right here. So we wanna take out probably half of that crowded area, get in here with our snips and snip them out. Again, you only want two fruiting buds, okay? We want an optimal fruit production here. There we go. So we'll get rid of these guys right there. There we go, two fruiting buds and we got rid of that mess. All of this mess, all this disaster, will be gone very, very shortly. It's very surprising how fast it, you can get through a grapevine. There we go. Very nice. 
don't worry if you cut too much off it'll grow back these things will grow vigorously where we once had a disaster now we've got a nice neat grapevine Well guys, I've got my work cut out for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope you will come back and see me here again on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. I've got to finish up this vine. We're going to go ahead and get three or four vines done today. The whole thing, I hope. So we've got quite a bit of work to do. I'm going to say bye for now, but thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge, guys. By the way, that is a Cub Cadet Challenger 750 EPS. That's what that is. EPS stands for Electronic Power Steering. That's something that we're trying out here on the farm. A lot of folks have been asking about it, so that's what it is. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge. Be sure you pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you again. All right? Well, Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! There is the before. That's what it looks like before. And this is the after. So it looks pretty well skint up, but you can see these are the sprigs with the buds on them right here. Again, I call them sprigs. I guess you call them spurs. Those are your fruiting spurs with the buds on them. Again, we're going to take this one all the way back down, just like we did this guy right here. Awesome.